Hi, I'm Mike with the School of Self-Reliance. You're going to have to forgive the wind today, but that's kind of a subject to this video. Uh, what we're going to talk about today is wind and safety, specifically widow makers. It's something that a lot of people don't think about when they go out in the outdoors and they go camping or they go out for a bushcraft weekend or a survival class. And I'm shocked that I don't see more survival instructors talk about widow makers. Widow makers are things like this. You pan up there, you see a branch that's broken off and barely hanging, but it's a big, heavy one. There's a lot of, a lot of uh, mass on that, uh, that branch. In a strong wind, that's what took it down in the first place. If you camp over there underneath that, and that thing falls during the night, you become dead. Your wife becomes a widow, and that's why they call them widow makers. Um, but also, some other things are dead trees. Like if you look right there, there's a big dead tree. Well, a nice strong wind will take that tree over from the side and if your lean-to or your bush shelter or your tent is there you're going to die that thing's gonna fall on you and it's gonna seriously injure you or kill you and even sticks that are you know or branches that are maybe this long but they're they're big around if they fall from 50 feet that's more than enough to break your skull or seriously injure or kill you so whenever you're setting up your camp one of the things that you should always do is look for widow makers look up in the trees look everywhere and then look around you and start looking for trees that have large overhangs kind of like this one over here if you see that very large one from this one that's running up with the kind of cavity in the middle and it's leaning over to the left that tree right there sooner or later in a nice big wind is going to fall over and if your camp 50 feet away from that tree that tree is probably 70 feet tall so the last 20 feet of it are going to catch your camp and that thing probably weighs a few thousand pounds so the amount of force that it generates on the way down is more than enough to crush a human being or a couple of them and your tent will not protect you and neither will your bushcraft shelter no matter how well built it is unless you're in a cabin and even then it may not so you want to look for those types of things, be conscious of where they're at in the woods. You want to be very careful with it. Another one, another good example, is this one with the dark colored bark right here that's leaning to the right. If you look up at the top, it's not even all that windy right now, but that thing is swaying three feet in each direction right now. You know, you've got two, three feet of movement. When the wind picks up, that turns into five or six, and all that stress is generated down at the bottom of the trunk is where it dead ends. So that tree is a very likely candidate for something that'll come over in a nice strong wind or a storm. Again, if your camp is over there, or your tent, or your shelter, you're going to die. So start thinking about these things. You know, even if you don't die, how pleasant a thought is this? that that tree comes over in the middle of the night and it crushes your shelter and happens to get you across the legs. You've got broken legs, you're trying to get yourself, even if it's just a, a back acreage of somebody's house that you know, do you really feel like crawling five or 10 or 15 acres to try to get help? If they don't expect you back for the whole weekend, you very well may die back there. So think that through every time that you're out in the woods. And when you're walking in the wind, and it's a really, really windy day and you're out hunting or you're out moving through the woods, you know, going somewhere, when you look around, you should be conscious of if you've got 30, 40 mile an hour winds and there's a lot of those types of trees, those things can come over and crush a human being. Well, anyway, I'll figure, uh, I'll finish off this short video on wind and safety and widow makers uh, just by saying this. Remember when you're out in the woods, safety's key. Whenever you're in a survival situation or you're just out hunting, you don't want things to turn bad for you. Think about your, your children and things like that. They deserve to have you come home. So safety first on everything. And remember, emergencies don't really become emergencies or disasters unless something goes wrong. Um, they usually go wrong because somebody didn't pay attention, because somebody didn't plan or they just didn't know what they were doing. And the only way that, that, that a situation turns into an emergency or a disaster is by non-planning or something going wrong that you can't handle. 
So if you think safety and you plan ahead, you should be just fine. Once again, I'm Mike from the School of Self-Reliance. Thanks for watching. Like our videos, like us on Facebook, share them if you like what we do. Thanks again.